Finn Balor has played the role of peacekeeper in the Judgment Day for some time now, but he had a hidden motive for taking Liv Morgan's hotel room key. When Damian Priest confronted him on WWE Raw, Balor finally revealed his reasons. Baylor has been instrumental in managing the conflict involving Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio, preventing it from escalating. Damian Priest has expressed his frustration with the situation, repeatedly challenging Mysterio. However, Baylor's timely interventions have prevented Dominic from making reckless decisions and exacerbating the situation. However, Finn Baylor's behavior became quite suspicious when it involved Liv Morgan's hotel room keycard. He discreetly took the keycard from the table when no one was watching and held onto it for the entire week. Priest was concerned about Baylor's actions and confronted him on Raw. Baylor explained that he had secretly taken the keycard to protect Mysterio and had subsequently thrown it in the trash. Sounds like you're accusing me of something. Just so you know, I took the keycard to protect Dominic. It's done, it's taken care of, it's in the trash. Is that okay with you, champ? Baylor said. Baylor's explanation about disposing of the keycard reassured Priest, who had been concerned about his true intentions. When asked about the money in the bank briefcase, Baylor teased the possibility of cashing it in on Priest but ultimately revealed his plan to use it on Cody Rhodes. Unfortunately, Baylor didn't secure the win by the end of the night, but he might still have more chances to qualify for the latter match before the show. Despite losing most of his matches, Baylor has excelled in his role as a heel. He has consistently been featured in the main event, and Triple H should seize this opportunity to build his momentum. Finn Baylor and Liv Morgan previously teamed up with AJ Styles to oppose the Judgment Day. Morgan's ambition to take everything from Rhea Ripley could result in a mutually beneficial partnership with Baylor, potentially influencing the future of the Judgment Day. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!